One of the biggest myths in dropshipping is that the best way to grow your store is by spending more money on ads. However, if you can grow and cultivate an active email list, this can be even more valuable when it comes to scaling your dropshipping store. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Omnisend to create automated email marketing campaigns for your Shopify dropshipping stores. And why should you listen to me? Well, I've managed to scale multiple Shopify stores to five figures in revenue. So I know a thing or two about email marketing. So let's get straight into the video. So this is Omnisend. And Omnisend is an all-in-one marketing platform that allows you to create email and SMS marketing campaigns. And as you can see, Omnisend is the top email and SMS marketing app for Shopify. Now, the best thing about Omnisend is you can get started for completely free. So as you can see, you can have 250 email contacts. You can send up to 500 emails per month and up to 60 SMS messages per month on the free plan. And then as you grow your email list and you start sending more email campaigns and you can see that they are becoming profitable, you can always upgrade your Omnisend plan accordingly. So I will leave a link in the description to Omnisend and you will be brought over to this page. Now, if we scroll down, I just want to show you a few different features that Omnisend offers that I am going to show you how to use. So you can create newsletters with Omnisend. So that way you can actually collect more customers emails and grow an email list that you can then market to. You can also create automated emails. So things like abandoned cart email campaigns, which will help you to recover a lot of lost revenue. You can also create pop ups and landing pages. So maybe you're launching a new product. You can always go and create a pop up or a landing page to collect more emails upon a product launch. You can, of course, send SMS marketing campaigns, which are super powerful as well. You can also segment your customers so you can create custom lists. So maybe you sell two different types of products. Let's say you sell jackets and shoes on your Shopify dropshipping store. More people buy some jackets and more people buy shoes. Well, you can create two separate lists for the people that are interested in jackets and for the people that are interested in shoes. So then when you do a product launch, maybe you've launched a new shoe on your store, you can send out an email and SMS marketing campaign to the list of people that have previously purchased shoes, or maybe you have launched a new jacket on your store and you can send out an email and SMS marketing campaign to the customers that have previously purchased a jacket. So it's a really powerful way of segmenting your customers so that you can send them relevant products with your email and SMS marketing campaigns. And you also have reports so you can see how much revenue you're bringing in through these email and SMS marketing campaigns. So like I say, I will leave a link in the description to Omnisend. You will be brought over to this page here. And the first thing we are going to do is connect our Omnisend account to our Shopify store. Now, don't worry, it doesn't matter if you don't have an Omnisend account right away. The first thing we are going to do is just click on connect your store. You will then be brought over to the Omnisend Shopify app. So from here, we can click on install. Once you have logged in to your Shopify store, you can then just click on install app and then it should show you one out of two steps completed. So your store has been connected to your Omnisend account. The next thing we are going to do is set our brand style. So as you can see, you can set your brand logo, colors, fonts and social links. So we're going to click on set brand style. Omnisend should automatically pick up your logo from your Shopify store. However, you can click on replace if you do want to upload a different version of your logo, then you can go and choose your accent colors. So I'm just going to go and choose this color and then we can scroll down and we can go and choose our fonts. So I've just gone and chosen the same font to match the branding of my store. And then you can go and add the social links if you want to. So you can go and select from Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and so on. For now, I'm just going to hit delete. I'm not going to add any social links. And then you can click on save brand assets. You will then be brought over to the Omnisend dashboard and up the top, you will see multiple different headings. So we have campaigns, automation, forms, audience and reports. I'm going to go through all of these with you in this tutorial. But the first thing we are going to do is launch an abandoned cart recovery automated email campaign. So what you'll see here is it will say launch workflows. So we are going to click on launch workflows. If you don't see this automatically, you can go over to automation. You can click on preview and start workflows. And then it should say recover the carts your customers are leaving behind. So the first workflow we are going to set up is to recover abandoned carts. So the way this works is 
your customers will receive follow-up emails based on the carts that they abandon so that they are prompted to go and finalize the purchase. And on the final email, if they haven't completed the purchase, they will receive a discount code to further prompt them to complete their abandoned cart purchase. So you can actually select the discount code that you want to offer them based on that third email. I recommend to go for 10% because that's always a good amount to offer customers off to encourage them to make that final purchase. So once you've chosen 10%, you can click on Start Workflows. Now it's as easy as that to get your abandoned cart automated email campaign set up with OmniSend. Just at a few clicks of a button, that is all ready and set up to start sending. So as you can see, it will say fantastic work, your abandoned cart and checkout workflows are now active. So now we can click on show my workflows. So now under automations, we will see that we have two automations set up. We have abandoned checkout and abandoned cart. So now if you do actually want to have a further look at any of these automated sequences, you can go and click on them. And then you can have a look at exactly what these emails say. So if we have a look at the first email, we can say that it says items in your cart are selling out fast. There are items in your cart that can sell out fast, get them before they're gone. And then it will wait 11 hours before sending the second email. Now you can always reduce this time if you want to. So if we just click on this, you can always go and bring this down maybe to five hours, six hours, or you can increase it if you want to. I recommend to leave it as the defaults because OmniSend have done a lot of research into what type of email campaigns work. So generally their default campaigns work the best. Now, if we have a look at the second email, you can see it says your cart misses you. You still got items left in your cart. And then 12 hours later, it will say, don't miss out on 10% off your entire cart. Last call, we're giving you 10% off the items that you liked. And they will receive that discount that they can then use to go and purchase the item. So you can go and change any of these if you want to. Like I say, I recommend to leave them as the default. So we are just gonna go and click on update. And then you can go and click on close. So that is how you can set up abandoned cart and abandoned checkout automated workflows using OmniSend. The next thing I want to show you is how to set up a welcome workflow. So as you can see with a welcome workflow, you will capture new store visitors emails with a sign up form. And as you can see, it says here, 98% of your store visitors will leave without buying, turn more visitors into buyers by capturing their email address and selling to them later on. So having a welcome workflow is a really great way to actually initially grow your email list and then you can sell to that email list as you launch new products and as your email list grows with more potential customers. So we're gonna click on create new welcome workflow. So this workflow essentially allows you to capture a visitor's email address and then you can nurture them with emails to turn them into a paying customer. So again, eventually on the third email, you can actually offer them a discount code so that they are prompted and encouraged to purchase from your Shopify dropshipping store. Again, I recommend to go with a 10% discount code. So I'm gonna go for 10% and we can scroll down and click on start workflow. Again, it's just as easy as that to start this workflow with OmniSend. So it will now say great job. Every new subscriber will now receive a welcome email. So now we can click on show my workflows. So now we have the welcome workflow and the abandoned cart and abandoned checkout workflows enabled. The next thing we are going to want to do is launch the sign up form so that visitors can enter in their email address and we can start sending them those welcome workflows. So we are gonna click on launch sign up form. You will then be brought over to a drag and drop designer where you can go and design your sign up form. You can have a look at what it looks like on a mobile. Again, I recommend to just go for the default. However, you can go and change the buttons, the colors, and all of those types of things. If you did add your branding colors, it will recognize these already, as well as your branding fonts. So everything is pretty much ready to go. All you need to then do is just click on enable. Now that we have enabled that sign up form, you can head over to your Shopify store and just refresh the page and you should see that sign up form pop up where visitors can go and enter in their email address. So if a visitor enters in their email address, they can then click on get 10% off and then it will say thanks for signing up. As a thank you, you'll find a 10% discount in your inbox. So this is a really great way to encourage customers or potential customers to enter in their email address into your sign up form. So now if we head back to OmniSend, we can actually go over to audience. And if we just scroll down here, we can see that the email address I just entered in has been added to my audience list. Now you can see from my audience list, I have 607 contacts and that's because this store already has a lot of emails 
cars already on it, but you will probably start from zero if you are starting your store from scratch. But as I say, you can see that that automation is working automatically. I just entered in that email address and it has already been added to my audience. Now, the next thing you can do is you can go and segment out your audiences, like I mentioned earlier. So this way you can add them to different lists based on the different products that they might be interested in. So we're gonna go to segments and you can click on create segment. From here, you can segment your customers out based on different things. So you could segment them out by country. So maybe you want to send email campaigns to the US and you want to send different email campaigns to the UK based on different products that you are selling on your dropshipping stores. So you can go and segment those customers out based on the country. Now, if you go and have a look, you will see that there are different things that you can segment your customers out based on. So you could segment, segment them out based on gender. So maybe you've got some more female oriented products that you want to send out in email and SMS marketing campaigns, and you've got more male oriented products that you want to send out. So you can go and segment these customers out based on different things. If you scroll down, you will see down here, we have these other options to segment customers out. But as you can see at the moment, I don't have enough data collected on this. So as you grow your store, this data will grow and then you can segment your customers out based on these as well. So for example, had ordered shipped, paid for an order, placed an order. So you can go and segment different customers out based on their behavior. So let's just go for country by now. We can click on country. And as you can see, it says all contacts whose country is, and I can go and select a country based on the customers from my store. So I'm just gonna go and choose Canada, for example, and click on save and show contacts. You can then go and name this segment of customers. So I could just name this Canadian customers and click on save. You will then see all of the contacts from that country. So as you can see for Canada, I only have two contacts from Canada. So that's a very small segment of customers. But like I say, you can go and segment these out by different things. So now that I've shown you how to segment your customers out, the next thing I want to show you is how to create email marketing campaigns. So you can come over to campaigns and from here you can click on create new campaign. Now campaigns are best used for different types of promotions. So maybe you want to promote a Black Friday sale or a January sale or a new product launch or a certain discount or sale you're having on your store. And then you can decide whether you want it to be an email campaign or an SMS marketing campaign. You can also go for email AB test. This is slightly more advanced. So if you're just a beginner, we are just gonna start with creating an email campaign. So we're gonna click on create email. You can go and add a subject line for your email campaign. So I've just gone for Black Friday sale up to 50% off. You can also then go and choose your sender's name. I recommend to just go with the name of your store. And then you've got your sender's email address, again, the email address for your store. You can go and choose a pre-header if you want to. So I've just entered in, don't miss our huge Black Friday sale. Again, it's totally up to you what you want to enter in here, depending on the type of campaign you are sending out. So if it's a product launch, you are going to want to draw more attention to that particular product. If it's a general sale, like a Black Friday sale, then you can go for something similar to this. Then we can scroll down. You can connect your store's Facebook page to your OmniSend account if you want to, and then this will be published to the Facebook page right away as well. So once you have gone and entered all of this information in, you can click on Next Step. You will then see some pre-made templates that you can use to send out your email marketing campaigns. So you can scroll down and have a look at some of these templates. If you have a look down the side, you will also see the goal of the email marketing campaign. So you can see promote products, announce a sale, offer a discount. So let's say we want it to announce a sale, we can go and choose this. And now we will see all of the different templates that are related to announcing a sale. Now, if we just scroll up and we go for promote products, let's go and untick announce a sale. We can go and have a look again at all of the email templates that are promoting products. So it's totally up to you which one you want to use. I'm gonna go for announce a sale and we are just going to scroll down and I am just gonna choose this Black Friday template. So we're gonna click on use template. You can then go and edit this template if you want to. So you can go and edit any of the text and images. So for example, where it says 70% off, I could go and make this 50% off. 
You can go and change the colors of the buttons. So if I come in where it says primary button, I can go for tertiary, let's say, and it will go and change the colors like this. You can go and of course, click on any of these social links and you can go and delete these if you want to. So I could just go and delete this completely. And you can go and drag and drop elements into the templates. So for example, a product listing, I can just hover over this. You just need to grab an element and you can go and drag and drop it into the template. And then you can go and change the images. So if I wanted to go and replace this image, I can go and click on replace. I can go and click on upload from computer. Then I can choose browse files and I can go and choose an image of a product on my store and click open. And then I can go and click on upload and then I can go and click on select. So as you can see, it has now updated that image. Of course, you can go and update the name and the description and the prices of the products. And again, you can go and change the buttons. So once you are happy with your template for your email marketing campaign, you can then click on finish editing. From here, you can choose which customers you want to send the email marketing campaign to. So you can send it to everybody on your list or you can go and choose a segment. So I could go and choose my segment and I could go and choose the Canadian customers that I created earlier. And then I can go and choose another segment if I want to. So you can always click on include another segment. And then you can send a test email out if you want to, so you can see how it looks first. So if you click on send test email, you can go and choose an email address that you want to send the test email to. So you can go and have a look at how the email marketing campaign is going to look before you actually send it. Once you are happy with that, you can click on next step. And then all you need to do is just review and confirm everything that you have created for your email marketing campaign and click on send now. Now I'm not actually going to send this email marketing campaign out. So I'm just gonna click on this X button here. So that is how you can create email marketing campaigns. The next thing that we will do is create an SMS marketing campaign. So we are gonna to go to new campaign again, and this time we are gonna click on create SMS. You can then go and enter in the campaign name for your SMS marketing campaign. You can enter in your sender's name. So I recommend again to enter in the name of your store, and then you can go and enter in the message text. So I've just said, don't miss out on our huge Black Friday sale up to 50% off all shoes or whatever the products that you are selling on your store. So now once we have done that, you can scroll down and you can click on next step. Again, you can go and choose to send your SMS marketing campaign to all of your contacts, or you can go and choose a segment. You can also exclude segments as well. And then you can click on next step. Now, when it comes to sending out SMS marketing campaigns, it is going to cost you different prices depending on where you are sending the text messages. So as you can see, I have a lot of contacts in Belgium, France, Switzerland, etc. So the prices are going to vary depending on where you are sending your campaign to. Now you can always go and add credits. So you can see for this campaign, it would cost me $3.37. So in the beginning, if you're just starting out, you don't have to start with SMS marketing. However, it's totally up to you. But all you then need to do once you have paid for your SMS credits, is just click on next step and then you can go and send out your SMS marketing campaign. Again, I'm not going to send this one out. So we are just going to click X. Now that I have shown you how to create campaigns using OmniSend, the last thing I want to show you is the reports. So we can come over to reports and in your reports, you will see the amount of emails or SMS messages that have been sent out for a particular campaign. You will see how many people have opened them and the percentage of people that have opened them, how many people that have actually clicked on a link in one of those messages and the percentage of people that have clicked on a link. And you will see the number of sales and revenue that you have brought in based on that campaign. You can also review a report in further depth by clicking on view report. And if you scroll down from here, you will see all of the campaign stats. So again, you will see the open rate, the click rate, the unsubscribe rate, and the revenue that has been brought in from your campaigns. So this is a great way to monitor which campaigns are working and which ones are not bringing you in any revenue. And the ones that are bringing you in the most revenue, you're just going to want to replicate those types of campaigns. So that is how you can get started with email and SMS marketing for your Shopify dropshipping stores for completely free using the OmniSend Shopify app. I hope you have found value in the video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Shopify and e-commerce content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.